morning everyone and welcome to Morning Joy Vlogs with Cynthia. Today is Friday, April the 1st and I'm just not feeling it. So we're not going to have a devotion today. But I wanted to come on and say hello and give you a great big hug and wish you a happy Friday. April Fools. We are having a devotion. Are you kidding me? I don't get to make that decision. This is God's time with you. Of course he's going to show up and meet you. April Fools are not. Ugh. Our Bible verse for the month of April comes from Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 12 and it says, You will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. That is beautiful. So that is a great verse for us to focus on for the month of April. And I hope that you will. Our Bible verse today is who can criticize? And our Bible verse comes from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 16. And it says, keep a good conscience so that in the thing in which you are slandered, those who revile your good behavior in Christ will be put to shame. God, who can know you and criticize you? You are perfect and all your ways are wonderful. Those who don't know you may think they have something to say and they may criticize me for my devotion to you. I say, let them talk. When I consider my life before you or imagine my life without you, all I see is emptiness. People who resent my hope, envy my peace, or misunderstand your goodness can say what they want. With your help, I'll live a life that gives them nothing new to add to their complaint. In fact, your light in me may just change their minds, so let it be so, Lord. You know, we love to criticize. We love to complain. We love to be whiny. But there's nothing we can criticize about God. People will try. But God is God. And He is wonderful. And He is perfect. So sometimes instead of really criticizing Him, they might criticize us. And so it's our job to make them understand when they see us, they need to see and feel love. When they see us, they need to see and understand peace. When they see us, they need to know and have confidence that there is hope. When they see us, they need to be surrounded by an unconditional, everlasting love. Because when they see us, they need to see God and they need to be able to recognize him. I do not have the good things happening to me because of Cynthia. The good things that are happening to me are because of God. God desires them and calls them in to be a part of my life, to be a representation of my life. But when I don't allow God in and I allow Cynthia to take control, then what they're not getting or seeing is not the goodness of God. So on this Friday, I ask you, do you realize that God's light in you can change people's minds about you and him? Sometimes people are going through a rough time and when they see you struggling, but happy, joyful, it, sometimes it irritates them because they don't know how to be that way. They don't know how to find that hope and that joy, that enthusiasm, that attitude of God is going to help me get through this. I am not alone. They may feel so alone and so miserable. And therefore, they may judge you. And that's just it. When we judge people, 
it's because we really don't know them. Or maybe we see something in them and we're jealous of it. Sometimes it's the lack of knowledge. Sometimes it's the ignorance to God's word. Is that person to be blamed? Not entirely. Because if they don't know God, and they don't know about his love and his forgiveness, then they don't know how to not be jealous. Because jealousy is desiring something that someone else has that we don't have. But if we are living this life and it is filled with God and it's filled with God's love and hope and peace and forgiveness and mercy and grace, then we need to be willing to have our eyes and our ears wide open so that when the opportunity comes and we are embraced with this person, that we can draw them near and share why we're able to laugh in the middle of a storm, why we're able to dance when we don't know where the next meal is coming from, how we can laugh and find something to be funny when our burdens seem heavy because we are not alone and we're not going through it alone. So do you realize that God's light in you can change people's minds about you and him? Have a great Friday, everyone. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. And until then, hugs, hugs, hugs. Have a happy Friday, my joy friends. Bye.